But why does Team USA, the women's team, do well, dominate, and the men don't? Well, I think uh, that the infrastructure of the collegiate system actually works for them because uh, most of the countries that that uh, on the on the women's side, they're not as organized as we are. So, in, in, when you got a bunch of women who are, are competing at the collegiate level, Division One level, and it's, and it's a very high level of soccer, they can come in fitter. They can come in with a, a better idea tactically of how to address uh, games like that. And we're seeing the rest of the country or the rest of the world, I should say, catching up with the likes of what Brazil is now doing for their their women's program. China is now kind of figuring it out, but Japan is already there, and so is Germany. So, to, I think for us as a as a country. Um, the women have figured it out because they are extremely talented, uh, but they did have that, that infrastructure that worked in their favor. The collegiate system, unfortunately, right now for soccer um, on the men's side, sometimes gets in the way. And there's a lot of politics uh, that create more problems than, than, than help. Would you replace Bruce Arena as the manager? Well, not immediately. We got no, we got no reason to... Uh, uh, to do that at this point, I think he was put in a tough spot. Um, it, we were already in the hole, and I think uh, you know this isn't Jurgen Klinsmann's fault. This isn't Bruce Arena's fault. Um, a, a lot of this might fall on our current president, Sunil Gulati, but I, I do think that the players just just really failed to perform in a, in a, in a crucial moment, and they've let themselves down. You got to keep in mind, we Bobby Wood doesn't score against Honduras. Uh, yeah. About a month ago, yeah. we were in a worse spot than this. So we, we've been in trouble for a while. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.